Hello everyone, Phil here with another video. We're looking at using the USB storage functionality that a lot of modern modems and routers have built in. I've got a TP-Link W8970 and I'm using a Seagate 4TB hard drive uh, to show you how this works in this video. Now, rather than building a dedicated uh, NAS unit or buying a NAS, you, you can just use the USB ports on your router. The performance is not as good as a dedicated NAS, but for a lot of things like accessing drivers or streaming videos, it's perfectly fine. So the first thing you need to do is check your documentation and find out what drives and what partitions your modem or router supports. And I checked the manual and it actually, I couldn't find any information, but on the website, I found this FAQ and here it mentions some more specifics. The following partitions are supported FAT, FAT32 and NTFS. So we're going to go with NTFS. But then down here it talks about that GPT partitioning is not supported. We have to stick with a master boot record. It's just this is the uh, traditional uh, way. And we have to create partitions up to 2, to two terabyte. Um, but we can have several of those. So we have to split the four terabyte hard drive into half in order to do that. A uh, couple of tools. Seagate has a lot of tools available. To partition format the drive, I'm using Seagate Disquisite. So we're gonna do that now. So we run Seagate Dis Disquisite. There it is, we're gonna go add new disk. That's my four terabyte drive, click next. We're gonna stick with the master boot record, go next. Then we're gonna create a new partition. And here we just drag that slider until both show the same number. So there you go, that's halfway through. And we make that a primary partition, say accept. And we do another one, create new partition. Make it also primary, say accept. Now we have our two partitions. We just go next and proceed. And it's gonna uh, create a partitions and format them. So it's just gonna take a moment. The other thing we need to do is when you plug in an external USB hard drive into your uh, modem router, at least with my model, the hard drive never powers down. So it, it always runs. Now I've been told it's not a big deal, but I still prefer um, my drives to actually power down when I'm not using them, when I'm at work, for example. So Seagate has a little utility that allows you to change the uh, sleep time, like how long the drive will uh, stay running before it goes to sleep. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish. That's all done, we can quit here. And that's the program to change the power saving mode where you use the Seagate drive settings. Here you can also disable the LEDs. So if you find the blue lights on the Seagate drive, I'm using the Seagate expansion, you can also turn those lights off. Okay, now we what we need to do is connect the drive to our modem and router. So I'm just gonna eject it plug it into my modem router and we are back in a moment. Okay, here we are. So I just connected a USB drive into the modem router. What we now need to do is power cycle the modem router. I've done it already. Um, it's not plug and play, so I had to turn it off and turn it on again. And then the USB drive gets um, picked up. So it's important that you power cycle it. Alrighty, so now we're gonna log, in, log on to our modem router. So you need to enter the IP address of your device. If you're not sure how to do that, there are two ways of doing this. You can use a command prompt, type in IP config, and just go for the default gateway. The other option is you can do it if you prefer doing it in Windows. Um, you right click here, go open network and sharing center, click on your ethernet device and details, and you'll find the default gateway. Uh, where it is? There it is, yep. So 192.168.11 is the IP address of our modem router. Press enter. Then I'm using the default admin admin, which all the TP-Link devices have. And then you click on the left side on USB settings, and you can see we have our two partitions here. So that's a four terabyte drive split into two. Um, 
By default, it also uses uh, an FTP server, but this is local only, so you can't access it from the outside. So both the uh, accessing it through Explorer and accessing it through FTP is on your network only, so it's quite secure. If you do want to share it with the internet, um, then you, I recommend that you refer to the user manual because there's a lot more you have to uh, configure. Okay, let me just see what next. Yep, that's it. So what we do now is I'm just gonna show you how to access your drives. So on your network to access them through your Explorer, all you have to do is two slashes and then the IP address, press enter, and there are your two partitions. So this is the first one and that's the second one. And you can now start copying things onto it. There's another way of doing this through FTP and all you have to do here is type it in a different way and here you have to log on so same password admin admin log on and there are your volumes here and that's really it so this is quite a uh, quick and easy way of accessing USB storage through uh, your modem router if you've got if it has USB ports at the back. In terms of performance um, I'll just do a quick benchmark so let's have a look at that. To benchmark the performance of all of this we're going to use a LAN speed test light it's a free download so we need um, just that path so I'm just going to copy paste that and put it on here. I'm going to start the test let's go with 200 megabyte for test file and off it goes. Now, in general, performance is quite limited compared to uh, NAS and, and uh, more expensive or newer versions of, of modern routers. Mine does have USB 2 interface, but performance is not as fast as USB 2 can go. So there are uh, devices that do it better. And there are new devices now out that have a USB 3 port. So they uh, will do it a lot faster. So we're just gonna wait and see what results we're gonna get. Okay, here we go. So we're getting uh, 52 megabits per second for writing and around 70 for reading. That's not too bad. It's definitely enough for for, for uh, Blu-ray rips and high definition videos and most most Wi-Fi networks using wireless and would actually struggle to get that speed. So um, uh, the way you have to look at it, it's, it's, it's if your modem has it, the USB storage functionality, yeah, it, it's free. You don't have to get another box, yeah. And um, why not use it? So, yep, that's it. As always, hit the like button. If you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so.